Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market prep video for January 6th, 2021. So yesterday we had those bulls in there working hard to defend that Monday sell-off, but they fell just short of clearing some of the resistance levels in the chart. So what does that mean for today? Well, we have a lot of political news out there to deal with. We've got a lot of things maybe on the economic calendar that could move us around. So how about we settle in, let's study these, this price action, study these technicals, and see how we might want to approach the market for this hump day edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Yesterday, as you can see, we saw those bulls coming in. They tried to move us up, trying to defend here in that chart. That was yesterday's candle. This is this morning's attempt in the Dow to push us higher. Let's take a look um, at what that left us. That left us with this little bit of resistance right here. We tried to push through, but by the end of the day, just couldn't hold on to that move and we pushed back down heading into these Georgia runoff elections. And now we've got kind of a mixed bag going on over there in the Georgia runoff elections. Um, we could be getting closer and closer to clearing the deck um, where the Biden presidency would have free reign to raise taxes. The market has a concern over that. And um, just this battle going on here in the market. We also have, if there's not enough political news out there to go around, we also have Congress um, stepping into the news today, working to certify the Biden presidency. And then there's an effort going on to block that move. So expect a lot of political wrangling today that could set off some fireworks um, in the price action of the charts. So this morning, one of the things I think we need to focus on is right now the bulls are in control. They maintained this trend. They just fell a little bit short of breaking back above that resistance in the chart, just a tiny little bit short, but they're attempting to correct that this morning in the diamonds, pushing up. Futures are pushing up this morning. As I speak, Dow futures are showing an increase of 96, 98 points. So we're trying to move higher here in the Dow. Now, unfortunately, if we take a look at the SPY, we've got a little bit different picture. SPY is not showing quite so much bullishness this morning. And as a matter of fact, we're trying to lift up off of overnight lows, but we're still pointing to a slightly negative open at the moment. So notice that we did push up here. Whoops, my uh, drawing tools changed on me here. Just Give me a second. We did push up here, but we're pushing right into that price resistance. It's a slight level of price resistance here that we just weren't quite able to clear yesterday. And with the SPY um, showing just a little bit of weakness this morning, we have a little bit of a mixed bag trying to decide what happens next here. Take a look that we have this trend being held. So I've got to say the bulls are in control. They are continuing to hold on to trends. We want to stay with the direction of the market um, with our trading, but we also want to stay pretty light on our feet today, being ready for that shift or that whip to the other side, should some of that political news create some of that drama that brings those bears back out. So watch that closely. Remember, we still have these big bearish engulfing candles here that we need to overcome if we're going to move on higher. And those are some roadblocks um, that we must consider here in the market. Let's take a look at the Qs. QQQ. QQQ struggling just a little bit more this morning. As you can see, there's that mixed bag. We pushed back up here and we were attempting to break through that little tiny resistance and really try to breach um, the middle of this um, big old bearish engulfing candle. But now this morning, we're actually showing a bit of a move lower here in the NASDAQ, a little bit of a pushback. Here, so we have this mixed bag. We have that uncertainty out there with all that political news. So kind of an interesting situation. And I gotta tell you, there is a little bit more concern here. If we take a look at that SPY, if we open here, this is actually going to be a break of the SPY uptrend. We'll wanna keep a close eye on that. Now, we could also 
hang or cling right to this price support that we picked up the other day that brought those buyers back in. So we're kind of stuck here in this little bit of a range. If we can hold in here, great. We can still push back up higher in that chart, but this does provide a little bit of concern for the market. And we wanna watch that closely. If we were to see that selling wave, this would be a problem if we break that support and take out the low of this candle by the close of the day so watch that closely a little bit of back and forth here to be concerned about and then if we look at iwm iwm surged um, back up yesterday it didn't quite breach through this little price resistance in the chart but this morning it's looking like all kinds of fired up here and um, likely to set a new record high in IWM and this is largely fueled up by um, those energy stocks that got a big boost yesterday when um, we had um, OPEC make the decision that they were going to cut production by another million barrels a day in an attempt to get those oil prices back up. So that supported oil pretty substantially. That's helping um, IWM. Also, those financials did a pretty good job of holding up yesterday as well. Um, helping that index to move higher here. So watch that closely. Could be an interesting day today where we've got maybe a new record high being made. We've got uh, NASDAQ showing a little bit of weakness. Um, bit of a mixed bag to consider here this morning. Um, by the way, right now, all of a sudden, futures, Dow futures are coming back down. Um, we're only up 70 points now in the Dow futures. So interesting as we continue to battle around here in the pre-market. Let's take a look at the VIX. I got to tell you, the VIX still brings me, a, gives me a little bit of heartburn and a little bit of concern. If we take a look at this, notice that the VIX is um, struggling just a little bit. Um, in the fact that we remained very elevated yesterday, even though we tried to put on this bullish face that we really want to go up in the market. Notice that that VIX continues to show a little bit of concern with the price of the VIX holding on to a 25 handle in the market and holding above its 50 day moving average. So we have, again, that little bit of concern. We want to be bullish, but we're just not sure. And we're raising that angst here in the market where we can get that sentiment shift very, very quickly if news um, happens to come out that uh, the market doesn't like. So watch that closely. Now, we still haven't broke through that little downtrend right there. And I got to tell you, I really think that's going to be required if we're going to um, really catch a sell-off and that would mean we need to break above there and we need to hold that as support that's where real selling could come into the market we'll want to watch for that possibility right now that's not there but there is just enough angst here that's keeping um, a pretty elevated VIX, considering the fact that we're pushing up toward new record highs and the IWM is looking to open at a new record high with a 25 handle VIX. Um, never seen that before. Uh, very interesting situation here in the market. Let's take a look at T2122. It's the four week new high, new low ratio. And taking a look at that, kind of an interesting thing going on here as well. We pushed up yesterday um, pretty nicely in that VIX. We're pushing back up into this little bit of a downtrend here in the VIX. And we're pushing back up toward that bearish result distance zone as you can see this is that bearish reversal zone um, in the chart and as we push back up we'll want to be watching this closely now we obviously have enough upside room if we can get that bullish energy to come here in the market we could break through we could make new record highs but also keep in mind that we could find that resistance in some news events or something like that bring out those bears and we've opened up a big door here for that potential move back down so watch that closely um, a lot of volatility could be in, in tap for today something we want to pay attention to and one thing that continues to concern me as we continue to rally on rally days our um, absolute breadth index declines 
So we're finding fewer and fewer stocks um, lifting this market up and being able to hold the market higher. So watch that closely. That is a concern for me. We shouldn't be seeing that. We should be seeing um, breadth of the market rallying if we're headed toward some new highs. So watch that carefully. By the way, um, as I speak, I don't know what's happened here, but as I speak, um, we continue to see the Dow futures declining. Um, we're only up 39 points here. So a lot of back and forth going on here in the market as we kind of battle out trying to decide what we're going to do with all of this political news. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. Now our economic calendar has some things on it and even though we're going to be pretty focused on that political stuff, we want to pay attention on it. I just keep picking up those these other windows. Don't intend to do that. I apologize. Um, as you can see in here, we have um, the ADP report that's going to be coming out here at 8.15 this morning. We'll want to keep an eye on that. That can move the market around, even though ADP is not what it used, used to be. Um, it can still move the market around, so we'll want to pay attention to that. We'll also want to pay attention uh, to these factory orders um, that come out at 10 a.m. They have the potential for moving the market. The bigger moves of the day will likely be coming from the EIA Petroleum Status Report. Remember, if we get a surprise build in supplies, of, of those oil supplies, then we could that would weigh on the market in the idea that coronavirus is reducing our demand um, on that oil supply. That could hurt those oil sector stocks that saw such a nice rally yesterday. If we see a surprise decline, that could help bolster those oil sector stocks and move us on higher, help support the market. So kind of a critical report there today on the petroleum status. And then of course, we've got the FOMC minutes that we always wanna pay attention to. Although I doubt we learn anything new from the FOMC minutes, it can set off some fireworks in the market on its release, uh, so some price volatility. So watch that closely. Let's take a look on our earnings calendar today. We have nine companies reporting, um, verified companies reporting earnings. Now, um, some of these are um, not exactly what I would call notable, but I did list them all today in um, the morning blog. And if you guys wanna see that, just click the link right, right below the title of this video. It'll take you back to the morning blog and you can um, catch these. Um, um, earnings uh, today. So we have GBX. GBX will be reporting today. It looks like it's moving lower this morning. Must have missed on its report. Um, we've got MSM reporting today. We've got um, U UNF reporting today. So several things going on. And these are all this morning. Um, SMPL reporting this morning. And our EM reporting this morning. So watch those closely this morning. And then after the bell, we also have um, a few to pay attention to. RGP will re be reporting this afternoon. SAR reporting this afternoon. Um, LNDC reporting this afternoon. And RELL reporting this afternoon. So watch those. Um, some of them are going to be uh, less notable than others, but I just wanted to put that list together with only nine companies reported and all verified. Um, these will all be reporting today. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, guys, if you can do me a favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post one of these videos. And also, if you could do me a favor, if you feel like this video is worthy, if it helps you in planning your day, if you could please click that thumbs up button and leave a brief comment, that helps us continue to grow the channel and I truly appreciate it. Also, one other thing, if you feel 
um, that the video is worthy, share it out on your social media platform. That also helps us continue to reach more people and grow the channel. And I just want to say thank you so much to everyone who does that. You guys are awesome. Um, I do try to answer as many of the comments as possible. Honestly, guys, you humble me every day with your kind words. I truly appreciate that. And, um, I will continue my efforts to try and answer each and every one of you as often as I can um, when you take the time to support the channel. Thank you so much. Let's take a look at the stock setting up. And one of the things I want to remind you of that these are not a recommendation to buy or sell any security. It is up to you as the trader to do the job that you need to do in the due diligence of these trades. Never, ever, ever blindly follow anyone else's trades. Make sure they fit your trading profile, your trading rules, and fit your risk tolerance before you make any trade. Let's take a look at some stocks that, well, actually performed really well. Take a look at ExxonMobil yesterday. ExxonMobil um, shot up yesterday really nice and strong. Um, what I like about this chart, let me throw this on here. Notice that we have a resistance level in here that we're working to test here on Exxon and we're trying to push up and follow through on that today. So watch that carefully. It, it's not out of the question that we could rally into this resistance and fail. We could also rally into that resistance, break through, and then look to hold that as support. That would be an entry potential signal. We could also rally into that um, resistance and then just camp out there for a while in a little consolidation trying to build energy to break through. But if you look at a lot of these energy stocks out there, um, they had a really good day yesterday moving up nicely. Watch those resistance levels. Um, saw um, like in some of the refining yesterday, Valero Energy trying to perk up, trying to break through some resistance levels in the chart. There's that nice little move into that resistance, kind of consolidating move here, trying to break through. So there's lots of those stocks in that oil sector trying to perk up. You might want to keep an eye on those. Take a look at Lyft. Lyft rallied back up. We had a little bit of a selling um, move here and notice how tightly this consolidation in here is wound. I would place a price alert right in here. If we can continue to hold up here, notice no one really wants to sell lift. So if we can get this moving, we could catch that new rally through there, pop on through and extend on higher here in lift. Keep a close eye on that. Crocs, Crocs has rebounded. This is one of those stocks that was in, just in this beautiful upside trend, as you can see. And we've kind of gone into a little more of a protracted consolidating pullback. And you can see breaking um, yesterday, breaking above that little downtrend, and this morning trying to push back through and recover that price support in the chart. So if we can hold up here, Let's keep an eye on that opportunity that Crocs could move on higher here in that chart. Pretty interesting little bounce back here on that stock. You might also want to take a look at um, UAA. UAA um, Under Armour showing some strength here as you can see breaking out. Now this is a big level right here in the chart. Notice that this is a big price level and that price level we've been consolidating it here after um, this nice rally to the upside. We do have some congestion in this area, as you can see, that could kind of slow down the rally to the upside. That's okay. We have a nice little hold of this support area. And you can see those bulls are pushing on through, wanting to push under armor higher. So keep a close eye on that. That's looking pretty good here and uh, may have some nice upside potential. Keep an eye on Starbucks. Now, Starbucks has had some back and forth here. As you can see, we had that big, ugly day here on Friday, or excuse me, on Monday. And yesterday, it didn't perform all that well in the market. But notice that we ended up holding on by the end of the day, kind of holding on to this price support. And we are moving closer and closer here to this longer term trend that I have marked here on Starbucks, as you can see, that longer term trend. So if we can hold this price support, and this may require a few more days of rest in here, but we might want to keep an eye on this. One of the things I like to see in a chart is after we have a bit of a volatile move, we get this volatility, 
I want to see that nice resting pattern where we get these little spinning top dojis, little resting pattern in here for three, four days. And then I want to see that bull step in and push on through. Just kind of like over here, we had this little volatile move to the upside. And then we get this nice little resting period in here and we can push on through to the upside. So watch that closely. Starbucks could be one that could be in play. Take a look at Alcoa. Alcoa, I mentioned this the last couple of days. Alcoa showing lots of bullish strength. Moving on up yesterday and this morning looking to extend that move to the upside. Uh, metals doing quite well. Also take a look at X. I've mentioned X the last few days to keep an eye on that. That one, X moved on up nicely yesterday, trying to extend on through. Now, one of the things we'll have to pay attention to is this resistance right here and there. And we could get a little bit more of a rest over here toward this trend. But watch that closely, X perking up. Um, I've been mentioning um, Cleveland Cliffs. Cleveland Cliffs holding up really well, moving on through, as you can see, breaking through that resistance right in here, popping that alert, moving right on up to this next level in the chart. Let's pull this back. I'm going to go right to here. Moving up, this is a weekly. We're running into a little bit of price resistance here on that chart, but looking pretty darn good overall. And if we can push on through there, may have that opportunity to get up there, rest a little bit, and then move on higher. Cleveland Cliffs doing well. I think we have to, we would be remiss if we don't pay attention to um, GLD. GLD pulling back this morning. We see treasury yields rallying sharply this morning. 10-year um, treasury up above 1% um, for the first time since March this morning in reaction to um, the Georgia runoff where we uh, traders are essentially saying we think higher taxes are on the way. And um, we're seeing that gold pull back here, but that's just exactly what I wanna see. I wanna see gold rest in here. I wanna see it pull back a little bit. I wanna see it come back into this trend, consolidate, and then give me that opportunity to enter that position because I'm not in it yet. I'm kind of bummed out that I'm not in it yet. So keep an eye on GLD and also keep an eye on silver. Silver pulling back as well today holding into this trend, any rest or consolidation over here or pullback into that trend sets up that next opportunity higher. So keep an eye on silver. So with that, everyone, hey, I wanna wish you all a fantastic day. It could be a day filled full of volatility with all this political news and economic news and things out there. So watch that closely, stay on your toes, stay focused. Be careful not to overtrade this market. Remember, we have that propensity with a victim over 25 handles to really shift and move quickly. So stay on your toes. Everyone take care, stay safe, and we'll see you right back here, bright and early Thursday morning. Have a great day, everyone.